Hello learners, I am Siba. Now we can move to lesson 1, Accounting and Introduction. In this lesson, we can study the meaning of bookkeeping and accounting, advantages and limitations of accounting, branches of accounting and users of accounting information. You must have gone to buy many items from shops on credit basis. Whatever you are buying, the shopkeeper used to record it in his book because he will not remember. So many customers will come and for each and every customer he will open a page and he will record whatever items are being sold to each and every customer. So, in order to maintain proper books and to record every transactions, some procedure is to be followed by every salesperson or seller. So, keeping proper books for recording various transactions is known as accounting. So, now let us first study what is bookkeeping. The art of keeping a permanent record of business transactions is bookkeeping. But what is accounting? The art of recording, classifying, summarizing, analyzing and interpreting the business transactions systematically and communicating business results to interested users can be called as accounting. Another definition I can say is accounting is the process of identifying, measuring, recording and communicating the required information relating to the economic events of an organization to the interested users of such information. In this definition, I have mentioned you, we will record only those transactions that can be expressed in terms of money. That is, we will record only economic events, transactions that are measurable in monetary terms are recorded in accounting process. As a process of accounting, you have to identify which are the transactions that are to be recorded. Items of financial nature are to be recorded. Goods purchased for cash, goods purchased for credit, etc. are recorded because you can express that in financial terms, in money terms. Changes in managerial policies, Appointment of efficient staff, etc. cannot be recorded because you cannot express that in terms of money. Measurement. You have to consider measurement factor also in the process of accounting. Measurement means quantification of business transactions into financial terms by using monetary unit. If you have purchased certain raw materials, you have to measure it how much amount you have purchased. For example, rupees 50,000. That is for rupees 50,000 you have purchased. So, you have measured and quantified and you can express that in accounting. After identifying and measuring, you have to record the transactions in accounting process. Recording of business transactions is done in such a manner that the necessary financial information is summarized according to well-established accounting practices. So, first we will identify the transaction, then we will measure the transaction and then we will record it. After recording and summarizing, we have to do the communication process in accounting. Relevant information is generated and communicated in a certain form to the management and other users 
of the information. The financial information is regularly communicated through accounting reports. Now let us see the difference between bookkeeping and accounting. Bookkeeping is concerned with identifying financial transactions, measuring them in monetary terms and recording and classifying them. But in accountancy or in accounting, it is concerned with summarizing the recorded transactions, interpreting them and communicating the results. Bookkeeping is done to maintain systematic records of financial transaction. Accounting's aim is to ascertain business income and financial position by maintaining records of business transactions. In bookkeeping, vouchers and other supporting documents are necessary as evidence to record the business transactions. Bookkeeping works as the basis for accounting information. Bookkeeping is done to record business transactions. Scope of bookkeeping is limited. Accounting is a recording, classifying, summarizing, interpreting business transactions and communicating the results. So its scope is very wide. That is the scope of accounting is very wide. For doing bookkeeping process, elementary knowledge of accounting is only necessary. For accounting, advanced and in-depth knowledge and understanding is required. Bookkeeping is the first step in the process of accounting. Accounting begins where bookkeeping ends. Now let us move to the branches of accounting. We have branches of accounting like Financial accounting, cost accounting, management accounting, tax accounting and social accounting. Financial accounting is concerned with recording the transactions of financial character. Summarize and interpret them and communicate the result to the users. In financial accounting, we will ascertain the profit or loss of the business. Then what is cost accounting? Cost accounting analyzes the expenditure so as to ascertain the cost of various products manufactured by the firm and fix the prices. So cost accounting helps in cost control. If cost is controlled means there involves the decision making process. So cost accounting helps in decision making process also. Next comes the management accounting. It is concerned with generating information relating to funds, cost and profit. This enables the management in decision making. Management accounting helps the managers in taking rational policy decisions. Another branch of accounting is tax accounting. This branch of accounting has grown in response to the difficult tax laws like income tax, sales tax, etc. Now we can move to social accounting. This branch of accounting is also known as social reporting or social responsibility accounting. It discloses the social benefits created by the enterprise and social cost incurred by the enterprise. In social accounting, social benefits and social costs are ascertained. Social benefits like medical benefits, housing benefits given to the employees, educational benefits, canteen facility, provident fund, etc. Social costs, environmental pollution, unreasonable termination, social evils resulting from setting up industries, etc. Now let us move to objectives of financial accounting. Financial accounting is done. 
to find out various balances cash balances purchase balances sales balances etc another objective of financial accounting is to provide knowledge of transactions as a result of systematic recording of transactions accounting helps to provide knowledge of all the transactions accounting aims to ascertain net profit or loss of the business another objective of financial accounting is to show the financial position that is how much business owns and how much business owes that is relating to the assets and liabilities of the business financial accounting also aims to provide information to all interested users it aims to fulfill legal obligations also functions of accounting includes maintaining systematic records communicating the financial results meeting legal requirements fixing responsibility and decision making main function of accounting is to maintain various records then analyzing and summarizing these transactions and then communicating the result of the transactions to the interested users various legal formalities are to be satisfied by every organization and that is possible with the help of accounting responsibility can be fixed to different departmental heads with the help of accounting process accounting also helps in decision making so let us study the advantages of accounting accounting helps in giving financial information about the business it provides proper assistance to the management financial information will help the management in taking various decisions either to reduce the cost or to improve the sales or to maintain good relations within the organization that is maintain harmonious relationship among the employees all transactions are recorded and if large number of transactions are there means we will not be able to keep that in memory in that case accounting comes to help the organization to record all the transaction so it replaces memory accounting also help for comparative study the result of one period can be compared with the result of another period so that if there is any change in that period that can be ascertained and future decisions can be taken accounting also helps as an evidence in the court because we are preparing proper records including trading profit and loss account and balance sheet which can be submitted as an evidence in the court accounting also helps in sale of the business what is the price of the business at a particular date that can be ascertained with the help of financial position of the business that is trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet will help to ascertain the purchase price of that particular business if it is a partnership form of organization accounting helps in maintaining proper records at the time of admission retirement death or dissolution and there will not be any disputes among the partners for the settlement of accounts if the accounts are properly recorded through the process of accounting what are the limitations of accounting all information that is expressed in terms of money are only recorded in accounting so if there are employees whose efficiency has improved the performance of the organization whether that will help the organization to make more profit or not definitely that will increase the profit of that organization but you cannot quantify that efficiency of the employee in terms of money so you have not recorded that so your accounting information may not be fully
true. As a limitation, we can say fixed assets are recorded in the accounting records at the original cost. That is, fixed assets like land, building, plant and machinery are recorded at the price at which it is acquired plus the installation charges. So, rise in price of the fixed assets are not considered. So, true financial position of the business cannot be ascertained with the help of accounting. As another limitation, I would like to say, accounting information is based on estimates. For example, for calculating depreciation of the asset, actual life of the asset is to be ascertained. That actual life can be an estimated amount because we cannot say on a particular date that is on the purchase date that the asset will have the life of 5 years or 10 years like that. So here also we can say this as a limitation. Another limitation of accounting Accounting information cannot be used as the only test of managerial performance on the basis of mere profits. That is on the basis of profits alone you cannot say that this organization is moving in a good position. If that profit has been acquired on the basis of the research and development or on the basis of the advertisement expenses incurred. And if this organization has not recorded those expenses like research and development and advertisement expenses, then here also true financial position is not expressed. Another limitation of accounting, accounting information is not neutral or unbiased. Various costs incurred by different organizations like pollution, air pollution, water pollution, sound pollution, etc. that has created by that organization is not recorded while recording the accounting information. So, we can say accounting information is not unbiased. Now, we have studied different branches of accounting. So, I will give you some questions. Identify the branches of accounting which I am going to tell you right now. This is a branch of accounting which analyzes the expenditure so as to ascertain the cost of products manufactured by the concern. So, which is that branch of accounting? It is cost accounting. One more question. It is that branch of accounting which discloses the social benefits and cost incurred by the business enterprise. Which is that type of accounting? That is social accounting. Social benefits are disclosed. So, that is social accounting. Here is one more question. Accounting that is concerned with generating information that will enable the management in decision making. Which type of accounting is this or which branch of accounting is this? That is management accounting because it helps the management in taking decisions. Next topic is users of accounting information. We have mainly internal users and external users of accounting information. Internal users include owners, management, employees and workers. Owners are interested in knowing the profit earned or loss suffered by the business because this will affect the safety of the capital that is invested by the owners. Management use accounting information to take decisions such as determination of selling price, cost control, cost reduction, investment into new projects, etc. Financial statements help to know whether the enterprise has deposited its dues into the provident fund. 
and employee state insurance account etc. So these type of informations are needed by the employees. Employees require this information because their income is based on the information like PF, insurance etc. So whether the employers are putting certain amount in these account then only they will get the benefit. Similarly profit is related to the bonus aspect of the employees. So employees want to ascertain whether they will get enough profit or they will get enough bonus. If the profit is high means they will get bonus. Now coming to external users. Banks and financial institutions, investors and potential investors, creditors, government and its authorities, researchers, consumers and public can be classified under external users. Banks and financial institutions provide loan to business. To ensure the safety and recovery of the loan advanced, banks require financial information from business organization. Investors as external users require financial information from business because investment involves risk. Investors rely on the accounting information to know the earning capacity of the business. They also want to know whether their investment is in a safe position or not. Creditors as external users are those parties who supply goods on credit or who supply services on credit. The financial statements help them to assess the credit worthiness of the business. Government authorities require financial statements of the business to compile national income in order to fix correct tax or to ascertain the tax dues from each and every organization financial statement of every organization is required by the government. Researchers use accounting information in their research work. Consumers require accounting information for establishing good accounting control so that cost may be reduced with reduction of prices of the product that they buy. Public want to see the financial progress of the business because organizations progress will contribute to the economy in many ways. So public is interested whether that will affect their employment opportunities. If the business is running on a large scale means more employment opportunities that means more income to the workers that is national development also. Standard of living of the people will also increase. When we are considering the qualitative characteristics of accounting. Accounting is reliable, relevant or important information are provided by the accounting process. Accounting is very understandable or informations provided are understandable and accounting helps in comparison. Accounting information should be verifiable. It means transactions should be evidenced by documents. Purchases should be evidenced by bills of purchases. Sales should be evidenced by sales bills. Accounting information should be free from personal bias. It means where personal judgment is to be exercised, it should be independent and free from bias. The accounting information should disclose information after judging its relevance to the decision making and whether it is needed to the users or not. That is according to the importance of the information it is given to the respective users for decision making process. Financial statements should be presented in a manner 
that the users are able to understand. Understandability means that the information provided through the financial statements be presented in a manner that the users are able to understand it. Comparability. It means that the user should be able to compare the accounting information of an enterprise. Compare from the accounting information if we are able to compare one period with that of the other period such a comparison can be called as intra-firm comparison. Financial statement comparison of one enterprise with that of the other enterprise that is inter-firm comparison. So now in this lesson, we have studied the meaning of bookkeeping and accounting, advantages and limitations of accounting, branches of accounting and users of accounting information. I hope you understood it very well. Thank you.